All right, both cards being placed on the bottom. Mull to six for both of us. Hank on the play. Flooded Strand, cracking it. Alexander makes a great point. I think Pup in initiative, talking about Comet, makes you unable or more dicey to have Cavern of Souls in the deck. That's fair. Dark Ritual here for Hank. Doomsday. So Dark Ritual, Doomsday, the play patterns we all wanted. Here on turn one for Hank. Harry Houdini says, I actually think Doomsday isn't well positioned right now. Hot take. Uh, we'll be hearing from the YouTube commenters on this, uh, Harry, and, and they're going to let us know what the real situation is. But I think Doomsday is pretty good right now. So what do I know? All right, Doomsday has resolved. Hank has created a pile with cards in it. And I'm taking a look. Yeah, I mean, I don't know Interesting was my reaction. So I remember seeing that all the street rates were gone. I think. <laughs> Here's Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal. I will keep. Elite Spellbinder. Oliviera, thanks for the resub. Four months. Thank you, thank you. Force pitching days on the spellbinder. It's countered. Uh, All right, passing the turn to Hank. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. Cavern Navy Merfolk. Cycling Edge of Autumn. Here's Thassa's Oracle. One card in the library. Resolve, ability on the stack, I'll get solved. All right, game one goes to me. Solitude pitching Seasoned Engineer to take out the Thassa's Oracle with one card left in the library. What was the other one? There was um something else really spicy. All right, both of us have Molta 6, and Hank is on the play. Watery Grave. Personal Tutor. That gets a thumbs up for me. Personal Tutor will resolve. Dream Trawler says, is there a roadmap to get all MTG cards on Arena? I wonder if Legacy will ever be there. I'm sure someday it will. It's going to be quite a while, though. They're moving really slow with adding the, the, old, um, the older cards. Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Chalice X is one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Force of Negation pitching days on the Chalice. It's countered. Fuck you. Oh, I'm just playing. 
Dark Ritual here for Hank. That'll resolve. And Doomsday. <laughs> Dark Ritual, Doomsday. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not much of an MTG finance person, but uh, trading for inventions worked out way better than I thought it would. I thought I was just gonna have like some lotus petals and uh, and what else do I even have? Um, I have one chalice. I have a set of lotus petals. I have one chalice. I have. Why am I completely blanking? I don't have soul ring or any of that. I have like. Bunch of stupid. Oh, I have all the gear hulks. I have like uh, lightning greaves. I don't know. I, I probably sound like I'm bragging right now, but I'm just talking about my collection. All right. City of Traders, Sacking Lotus Petal, your seasoned dungeoneer. And I'll take the initiative. Yeah. And there's the basic plans. Yeah, that's the uh, Cycling Street Wraith here twice is Hank. We have to discard a third of our cards, a third of our creatures, and a third of our lands. Thassa's Oracle comes in for Hank. I was all over the expeditions and the inventions and the invocations. I was actually pretty disappointed when they stopped them for Ixalan. All right, looks like we both mult a six, right? On the play now in game three, City of Traders, Lotus Petal. Chrome Mox. What's up? Did you have Dolphin Just Touch the Spirit Realm, place into exile, imprinted on Chrome Mox. Elite Spellbinder. Especially on the draw. It's definitely. It's it's draw. I win. It is, it is slow, but. All right, let's see Hank's hand. Cabal Ritual, Dark Ritual, Brainstorm, Brazen Bower, Lotus Petal, and an Underground Sea. <laughs> All right, Brainstorm place into Exile. I haven't even thought about this deck against the I imagine mean, it's like, not the worst. Got a lot of kills. Yeah, that was my thinking here. Take the brainstorm and hope Hank can't find Doomsday and play uh, some beatdown for a bit. But uh, a top deck ponder for Hank allows for. Uh, setting up some draws. Yeah, the top deck ponder was pretty good here. Leaves them on top and draws, which is not what I wanted. Lotus pedal casts and resolves and passing the turn. Sorry, camera keeps getting bumped. Attacking for three with the spellbinder. And here's a white plume adventurer to follow up. Taking the initiative. Let's search for a basic. There's a basic planes. The planes is in my hand not on the battlefield. Two cars in hand. Cycling Street Wraith here is Hank. <laughs> Brazen Borrower, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, two unknown cards in Hank's hand. Here's a brainstorm. So Hank's able to find the cantrips. 
Looks like the other unknown card was a Scalding Tarn. Drawing Polluted Dealt to Ponder and miss what that last one was. So potentially on my next turn, I can add two counters, two plus almost one counters to either of my creatures, and then cast another creature with initiative to deal five damage to to Hank. You Hank at ten, attack for eight. Uh, yeah, I could do a ton of damage next turn potentially. So that's on Hank's mind right now as this brainstorm resolves in game three. I don't really have any disruption on the table as far as chalices and whatnot, but there is a brainstorm on the top center of your screen, exiled by Elite Spellbinder. That is my only um, disruption so far in this game. I do have two cards in hand. One of them is a basic planes. You can see that in the bottom right of your screen. All right, Hank fetching here after the brainstorm resolves. Yeah, I forgot to untap my I forgot to untap with White Plume. I keep forgetting that trigger. It's so bad. In this matchup, obviously it doesn't really matter, but um I I have to stay on top of that. It's such a weird trigger. Like am am I crazy or is it such a weird trigger that it's easy to forget? <laughs> it doesn't happen on my turn, so it's like weird. And it's not like a bobble where you're like, okay, I have to remember my bobble. It's just like, I don't know. All right. Ponder resolving here for Hank. Found another cantrip. <laughs> Place to die on opponent's library. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that'll work. We saw, uh, I forget who it was earlier. We're, we're seeing uh, White Plume Adventure triggers get missed quite a bit on this channel. Was it Roland? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Ledger Shredder, Esper Sentinel, Chalice, whatever. I, I guess maybe it's just a new card, and, and I don't know. It's easy to forget. Whatever. <laughs> All right, pedal getting sacked. Here's personal tutor. <laughs> That'll resolve. I'm also like, th this is only my second event playing the initiative deck. I, ha I don't have a lot of reps with the deck yet. So I haven't. Uh, gotten used to a lot of the cards. I find myself like reading cards in my hand, like creature types, like, oh, what, was Elite Spellbinder a cleric? You know, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Chalice Shredder and Sentinel Triggers happen after a thing. That's true. Here's LED hitting the stack for, for uh, Hank. It'll resolve. Doomsday is on top of the library, of course. Passing the turn. All right, now we're going to my upkeep, and I'm putting counters on something. Let's see. As the camera gets bumped again. I'm sorry about that, everybody. It was a bit packed at the store this week. There wasn't a lot of room. All right, White Plume Adventurer gets two counters. There they are. Okay. So I'll pass you and tap us one time. But I never got Attacking for eight, that'll put Hank down to six. Uh, 
All right, playing the planes, getting two mana from my city of traders. Walking ballista, X is two. So this is close. Two cards in hand currently. Doomsday on top of the deck for Hank. Lion's Eye Diamond in play. Brainstorm trapped in exile by Elite Spellbinder. And only a Lotus Petal is available on the table for me. And one card left in hand. Right, here's Dark Ritual for Hank. Three black mana. Yeah, Queen was pointing out Hank can't use fetch lands or street rates anymore. This is going to be close. Exactly. The squeeze. Mulder hoping for swords to plowshares left in my hand. I won't reveal what I have. Keep everybody entertained. The people are on the edges of their seats. Okay, Dark Ritual. I'm just allowing Hank to count a bit here. He's uh, He cast a Dark Ritual already, but he's just trying to figure this out. I think the philosophy that you are generally pushing is one that doesn't cover more dollars. There's no tutor, you can and push it, and then you just have to go to the end. It's what you see. That's okay. If you drop him, then you still go for a fast pressure. All right, Cabal Ritual. Six black mana. Doomsday hitting the stack. It's in the top left of your screen. Slightly cut off. Holding priority, sacking Lion's Eye Diamond. Make blue men. So three black, three blue floating for Hank. Down to three. Now has to build a pile. And facing lethal on the next turn. I have one card in hand. Hank just discarded his hand. Uh, there were no cards left. Shen Mui, thanks for the reset with Prime. Two months for Shen. Thank you. Three black mana, three blue mana floating for Hank. I see a fatal push pull to the front of the deck there. Right, the pile has been decided. And Hank did not take any cards from the graveyard. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to see Hank's pile here. Looks like there's an Edge of Autumn in there, a Thassa's Oracle. Consider a ponder. Brainstorm getting cast from exile. One black, two blue now floating. 
Four cards left in Hank's library after the brainstorm. One blue, one black floating. Consider cast here. Dump a ponder into the graveyard. Edge of autumn, float a blue. Edge of autumn. That's his order. I'll tap it again. Hank gets there. Good games. The last card in my hand was a Chromox. 